Good morning. My name is Ray. I'm here with Team Steam. This morning I'm here at Flash Industrial Painting and I'm going to unmask my cook stove. And uh, we'll see how that went. Here's how this turned out. Cobalt blue, metallic cobalt blue. Okay, so I've made these little bitty handles out of this heavier gauge wire and all these little guys to go on them. Now I'm going to weld it all together so each one's a welded up little handle. Here's how this turned out. It's a decent look, but the black does not play well with that dark blue. I'm not happy with the way the dark blue and the black work together. You can't see enough of what I wanted you to see. So, I'm going to stand it all down, repaint the entire thing. Alright, so as you can see, I wasn't very happy with how the black and the dark blue played together. And then the gold that was on there was spray paint, which is fine, but it didn't want to adhere to my paint in as many spots. So it started to try and peel up in a few spots. I didn't like any of that. So I went ahead and sanded everything down, and we're going with a completely different scheme and completely different colors. And now today I'm going to lay out my design and get my second color on this guy. Alright, so I'm laying out a design and I'm making it up completely as I go here and this is all I have so far. I have this little oval and I have this line that goes all the way around it that defines this tray as a tray. Um, and that's also going to be around the top piece too and around the, all the doors. Uh, the outsides of all the doors but i'm just now deciding what i'm going to run for the uh design inside of here and i'll uh i'll bring you guys along for that this all got painted yesterday and all these parts need to be unmasked and reassembled here this morning and that's what we're doing all right we've got all this stuff unmasked you can see and then I've got that kettle fiberglass down over a wood block so then I can take the whole thing up later and uh, saw around the outside of it and then screw up through the wood block through the top here to leave it on top of one of these burners permanently so here's how it turned out Now all I gotta do is assemble it. All right, well, we're almost done with this guy. Jen's birthday present. Little antique stove with her initials on it. And a teapot on top. That actually serves as the handle so you can open it and it stays open to retrieve your recipes. All of these doors are screwed on. Fake doors are screwed on. This is also screwed on because I put it on a fiberglass base with a wooden base inside of that. So I had something to screw it to. And now you'll always be able to use it as the handle. You gotta like it. Now all that's left is to uh, put some recipes in it. Now we've taken all the recipes out of that box. They've been stashed in for a few days now. And now they're all in here. Nice fit. Everything fits really well. I'm glad we added the extra space. This is almost a half inch bigger all the way around than the original. So that was really tight. This is gives us a little wiggling room. 
just give this a close. Now it's finally done. I got my cute little door handles on. See how those are made? Piece of wire with a smaller gauge of wire welded, wrapped around it and welded. You make little stove doors. Or handles. You'd open that up. Got all the recipes. They all fit really well because I built this about a half inch bigger, wider and longer than the other one. So now they fit a little more comfortably. So that works out really well. The little teapot with a handle. Well, I hope Jen likes it. We can put a bow on it. And uh, what I'm gonna do with the rest of my day? Well, it's a snowy day. I've gotten quite a bit done here lately. I think I'm just gonna uh, do some gaming or some lounging or some eating some good food or something that doesn't involve too much responsibility. See you around.